What's up everyone, it's Zach Waters here. Uh, thank you very much for tuning into this video. I don't exactly know where to start. I'll just start with saying I almost ruined my relationship, you know, by doing things that I should not have. I fucked up. Although I am a minuscule channel, only 150 subscribers, I want to be someone people can come to for advice um, and just any help on real life situations and this is probably the biggest situation I've had to deal with uh, ever. Um, I won't go into anything specific, basically I fucked up. <laughs> I was given a second chance and I uh, went behind her back and did something else again. I don't deserve this woman whatsoever, but I love her with my whole fucking heart. I need to get my fucking act into gear. So, this is mainly for people in relationships. If you ever have to deal with someone doing something behind your back, this is probably going to be more for you, just to give you guys an idea of what to do. The simple answer is you can probably just break up and leave, and that's the end of that, you know? But I haven't proposed to this girl. I love her to the end and back, and there's just certain moments where I selfishly just did stuff I didn't really need to. Nothing I had did was worth it whatsoever. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with this video. I just wanted to make it because I want to be the channel and person that people can come to for any help. And if you ever find yourself in this situation, what I'm going to do is, you know, one thing that you guys can do if you so wish. Basically, by the time you see this, it'll already happen. So, my fiance will probably watch this. Um, let me just start off by saying I love you so fucking much. I would give anything to erase what happened. We talk about a family, we talk about moving into a house together, and I dream of that. And the things that have happened in the past few weeks or so, it's none of it's worth it. None of it's worth losing you over. All I can ask is that you... I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know if I should be making this video or not. It's very, very fucking personal. But I want to be someone who helps other people in similar situations. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm, I've got a photo on my phone. And I'm going to print it out, put it in a frame, buy her some flowers, maybe some chocolates, and then I'm going to go and grab a letter and write her a letter. Be all laid out on the table for her to see when she walks into the house when I pick her up. That's just one thing that someone can do if you guys have this situation. Only if you feel genuine about it. Don't just do it because you, it's something to do. If you aren't happy, fucking go. Just fucking leave. But if you fucked up genuinely and you love your significant other, put the fucking effort in, okay? That's all I'm really gonna say for now. I don't know how much I record in the shops, but um, yeah, I'll show you guys the end product for sure. Alright, so I've made it to the uh, shopping center. I'm just gonna run in and get this photo done, uh, grab a frame, a letter, a flower. And uh, then I'll probably just see you guys home. I'm not sure how it will go recording wise, just because it's very personal. And you know, I don't want to see like I'm doing it specifically for the video, but um, I'll do some more talking a bit later on. So, uh, you know, if I record anything, you'll see it in just a sec. Otherwise, I'll see you guys at home. Alright guys, so I'm sitting here back at home. Basically, I'm just gonna set up all, I'm just gonna set everything up on the uh, table here. And uh, I've bought some Maltesers, uh, some chocolates. So I'll put them in the fridge until, you know, I'm about to fucking leave. I know this is a very out of the ordinary type of um, video. Considering the situation and how real it's coming, into my mind, the fact that I've nearly lost my fiance twice, 
because some stupid fucking shit that I just decided to do. <laughs> there was no benefit in it. That came out really well. This photo came out really well. The reason I wanted to make this bit into a video in, instead of dealing it about it myself, um, I know that there are so many people dealing with this same situation and I guess I just wanted to put my two cents in. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I just wanted to help anyone who may be in this situation and are unsure of what to do. Give this a go. Print out a photo. Uh, grab some flowers, grab some chocolates, and you know, just surprise her. What I didn't fucking do was buy a letter. Shit, I'm gonna have to write my own one up. Of course I forgot that. Why wouldn't I? But genuinely, if you want to save your relationship, get the stick out of your fucking ass. Start focusing on what's important. That's literally the biggest advice I'm gonna give you guys. Um, if you're unhappy with your relationship, talk to her about it. See if you can fix some things that will make it better. Otherwise, if you if those feelings aren't there anymore, then I, I'm, I'm sorry to say it's time to it's time to go. You know, end that part of your life. You know, and if you really, really love your fiance or uh, you know husband to be or whatever, whoever he or she, put in the effort. You know, you've got to gain their trust back, and that's seriously the hardest thing that anyone can try and do because, I don't know, it's just daunting, it's stressful and it's n nothing short of a letdown, you know, you've ruined the most important person in your life, you, you ruin their trust, their ability to trust you and take your word and not question anything. So I absolutely hate myself for this, that's it and that's gonna go wherever she fucking feels like it. I'm gonna point it to the door. So it's the first thing she sees when she comes in. And I've got uh, some Maltesers because she fucking loves chocolate. All right, guys, I'm sitting at the desk. I'm about to edit uh, the following video you're about to see or have seen. Um, I really, if you guys are struggling, please send me a message on any of my social media, Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Regardless of who they are, I am here for everyone. And I'm sure that there's so many millions of other people who are willing to sit down and have a chat and talk things through. So if anyone out there is ever feeling shitty, depressed, upset, or is dealing with a very hard scenario, please just send me a message, any social media like I said, and I will get back to you as soon as I can and we can talk things through. But yeah, just know that you're not alone whatsoever, all right? You've got people to- Oh, Zach, you shouldn't have. Put that away. Zach, thank you. They're not yours. I'm not really a flower person, but man, these are fantastic. The fuck are you doing with them? They're shinies. Oh, well, I'm sure she won't mind. I mean, you can go buy some more, can't you? Huh? Of course they're not yours. We're going through a fucking difficult time, you dickhead. Oh, I know. I know. Boy, you fucked up good. I know. <laughs> You've got a fucking hole to dig yourself out of, eh? Zach, I know I fucked up. <laughs> Boy, you are fucked. It is not simple whatsoever. Put them away right now, please. <sighs> You're so fucking lucky she isn't gone. <laughs> Dun gun. Jesus. You show up at the worst times, don't you? Yes, I know. <laughs> Zach, I'm sorry. Wait, what? <laughs> you shouldn't have got me chocolates! <laughs>